word. And God's word, amen, bless God, penetrates our heart. Amen. As the Bible said, it is quick and powerful. Amen. Bless God, sharpening a two-edged sword. You know what? The word of God, it cuts going and coming. Amen. But you know what? It does that to better us. Amen. For the kingdom of God. Get us in a place that we need to be. Amen. For his service today. You know what? If there's something in our life, amen, the cares of this life, amen, we're putting in front of God. We need to cut those things out. Amen. We need to take, amen, the word of God and let it be the roundup on our weeds and our thorns and let it choke out those things and allow the word of God, the seed, amen, bless God, to begin to grow in our life. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, if we'll do that today, amen, bless God, you know what? You'll better, amen, serve God. You'll be, you know, have a spiritual walk with God. You'll be a closer Christian, amen, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, bless God. And then you know what? And God will richly bless you for today. So I ask you today, where do we stand with Him today? Are we allowing His Word to be a lamp unto our feet? Are we allowing His Word to be a light into our path today? And you know what? We need to open up our hearts and allow God's Word to penetrate our ears and allow it to use, amen, for us and our lives today. Amen. You know what? The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that Word is Jesus Christ today. Are you allowing Jesus to work in your life? If you don't, I pray that you ask him to help you. I pray today, amen, if you don't know Jesus, your Savior, that you fall upon your knees and you ask the Lord to forgive you your sins and you accept Jesus Christ in your heart as your Lord and Savior. And if you'll do this today, that seed will fall upon that good ground. And you know what? And as life goes on, amen, remember this, amen, that we want our ground to be good. We want when God's word shows us that we need to correct things in our life. God knows what's best, amen. He knows our future. He knows what we're facing and we're going through today. He knows that, you know what, we're living in perilous times. He knows that we have got to follow God's word, amen, bless God, to the close, amen, ability that we have, amen. So you know what? Number one, if you don't understand God's word, find somebody to help you, amen. You know what? And like I said, when troubles come our way, seek God's word instead of allowing that stony earth, amen, to dry up the word of God in your life. And you know what? And like I said, don't allow the cares of this world, the thorns, amen, as it's represented in the word of God, don't allow these cares to choke out what God is trying to do for you. And you know what? Let's pray that our ground is always good. Our ground is fertile and our ground allows the seed, which is the word of God, Jesus Christ, to work in your life. We thank you for what God is doing for you today. I pray, like I said, if you don't know Jesus, your Savior, that you call upon his name for it's eternally too late. God bless you. Amen. I found an old love letter that was written just for me. It told me how much I am loved so sweet and tenderly. With a broken heart I read it. God's love for me It was written by a nail scarred hand At Calvary Oh how this old love letter Spoke to my heart and soul I was captured by every word As I watched his love unfold With special care he wrote it down For all eternity It was written by a nail scarred hand At Calvary The page is stained with red I am yours eternally Is what the whole script said I treasure my letter That he nailed upon the tree My tears stain his pages Every time I read Oh, how this old love letter Spoke to my heart and soul I was captured by every word As I watched his love unfold Thank you for watching once again. My name is Tonya Burnett, and uh, I'd just like to take a moment of your time to tell you a little bit about Near Calvary Free Will Baptist Church's youth. 
Um, we have a great youth program. My husband, myself, and uh, Chris and Angie Reimer are youth leaders there. And uh, if you don't have a home church and you have youth, and uh, you all know that it's it's a really good idea to keep your youth busy, um, come out and join us, and uh, we could surely find some things for them to do. We have a lot going on, and we'd love for them to be a part of that. And uh, the next song that we're going to do for you all is called I Need You More Today. And uh, Miss Pat and Miss Wynette are going to help me sing this song. And uh, so just sit back and listen to the words and uh, enjoy it. There are decisions I can't make.
My friends, we're going to leave you for today, and I do hope and pray that you have enjoyed the program today. I hope you enjoyed our last song, Where Could I Go But To The Lord. And that, you know, that's a, a good song for us to end our program with. And, and my friends, you know, when you're in trouble, you, know, you need to go to the Lord. When you're, when you're down in the valley and you, and you don't know which way to go, look up to Jesus. Jesus is right there with you, and He'll be there for you. All you got to do is call upon His name. And you know, in John 14, 6, it says, you know, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And my friends, if you're out there today and, and you want to know, you know how to become saved and, and how to know Jesus and how to claim your, your, your home in heaven, you, know, you need to go to Jesus and call upon the name of the Lord and He'll save you. His, His Word says He did. So my friends, we're going to leave you for today. And uh, again, if you, if you don't have a home church, come visit with us at New York Calvary Free Will Baptist Church. Uh, again, call the numbers that you saw today and be somebody there that can, uh, can talk to you about our church, talk to you about our program. You may just need somebody to pray with you. You know, we'd love to be a prayer partner with you if you only allow us to. And uh, so we're going to leave you for today, but we'll be back next Sunday at 3.30 on this Time Warner uh, channel. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing you next week. So on behalf of the Higher Side Old Time Gospel Program, this is Brother William. This is Brother Ronnie. Sister Da. Sister Pat. Sister Wynette. Sister Tanya. Brother Tony. Bidding you a goodbye. And may God bless yes. you. And may He keep, keep you safe. safe. And remember... God is right for anything that's wrong in your life today. Amen.